Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome to Between the Stars, a game I'm actually quite uh, excited to play, mainly because it puts you in command of a spaceship that you can then customize. You can customize your captain, you can customize and level up your captain, you can customize your crew from the sounds of things, and you can even get other ships to join you as you take on missions in the galaxy. So, that's right up my alley. Uh, for those of you curious, the game is not actually out yet. You can pick up the demo for free on Steam. And if you're interested in more information on it, there's, you know, you can go to Steam. They also have a Kickstarter. But for now, let's... <laughs> yeah, but for now, let's give this a shot. Ah! I kind of am right now, Stahor. I've got a access to a lot of games right now, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of these Let's Try videos. Although a couple of them, like uh, Breath Edge from yesterday, will likely be... I'll likely play that one through until I'm done with the currently released content, which from what I understand is only the first chapter of the game, and they're going to be releasing more as we go on. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, sure... James Scott? Don't know what the difference is, but hey. I assume just gender, because it didn't give me any stats for which captain to choose. Now, sorry for the resolution as well, the big, um... The black bars on the top or bottom, it's right. in a... Okay. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Crew, boost warp drive to full power. But, Captain... I said full power, that's an order! Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three... This isn't gonna end well, is it? Just a bit more! Warp successful. We've made it. Barely, it looks like. Also, hi, Silver Wolf. Welcome to the stream. My. Damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. Red indicators for rearward, gear, green indicators for forward speed, okay. All controlled by the mouse wheel. Moderate damage. Engines operational. Testing navigation systems. The lateral propulsion system of our ship allows it to move more carefully. Nice. Turning. Cool, cool. And tilt forward and back. Excellent. Navigation systems operational. Testing power systems. The energy control system allows you to reassign power to shields. So up to assign all energy to weapons, left to assign all energy to the shields, or to the engines, and right to assign all energy to the shields. Now, how do Power I balance it? Correct. I know, but I want it balanced. Okay. Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. We've been followed. The Prepare holes exposed. For Fol uh, focusing fire in a single part of the enemy ship allows you to destroy it much quicker. Ah! Okay, sure. Okay, I have no power now. Who is shooting me in the back? Everybody's shooting me from every side. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, they're over there. Come on, up you go. There we go. I don't even know if I'm within range of these dudes. Oh, I'm out of power already. There we go. Okay. <laughs> nice. That felt good. Keep climbing. Slow down. There we go. Now where's the last dude who ambushed me? There he is. 
Captain, reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. All right, what do you want me to do about it? I don't have more firepower. Direct the nuclear missile to take out enemy ships. Oh. Okay. One of our shields has fallen. I'm not surprised. How do I fire the nuke? You didn't give me that information. That information would be nice to have. Bug report? No, I don't want to send a bug report. I haven't seen any bugs yet. <laughs> ah, there you are. Right there, come on. Alright, we got his weak point. Bring the guns around. There we go. Right there around the end. That was fun. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Captain, Ooh, I'll I've take determined that. this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Aww. Anyway, how do I salvage this? Fly close to a ship, place your cursor over it. Once the ship becomes a holographic image, look for the red point. There we go. Oh, that's cool. The rest is over there. Kind of want to bust out my old joystick for this. <laughs> I haven't used that thing in years. Oh, whoops. Did I not get it? Go. Stop moving. There we go. Yes, give me the loot. Thank you. Hello, organic. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Okay, there's loot up here now. We'll check our inventory shortly. I can see this looting this way getting kind of old, but for now it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, stop. Stop moving. Okay, that didn't help. Turn the ship a little bit. There we go. Finally got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll see a lot of that, actually. <laughs> but... You know, I also control a giant spaceship, so I'm okay crashing into things. Especially when there's a variety of ships that I can modify and, um, that I can modify and customize. I don't know, I'll have to double check. I'm not sure if I've actually looked into that game before. I play a lot of games. A lot of them tend to. A lot of them can kind of get lost in the shuffle. I'll take a look though. See if that's one of the ones I've played or looked at. Okay, we got all the salvage. Let's turn the engines off. Let's look at our inventory. Ooh, nice. Ah, uh, that cannon looks. A lot of our stuff looks like it's been wrecked pretty hard. Open the scavenger pod. Open? What'd you give me? Hey, look, it's a loot box. 
But from what I understand, there is no, like, microtransactions in the game or planned for the game. It's just, yeah, you know, it just looks like a loot box <laughs> to me. <laughs> Hey, look, for the most part, they attacked me. I'm not leaving anything for them. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. The Republic has strictly prohibited the commercialization of salvage pods. <laughs> so, yes, no loot boxes. Probably install this right the hill now. An epic salvage pod. Okay, what's all this? Corpses from our crew members who died. Pirates and smugglers, we have 5 out of 10 influence. And the SMC Intergalactic Corporation considers me an ally as well. Huh. So we're allies of pirates as well, huh? System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. All right, Mai, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamasic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. Okay. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Pull up the map. Holy. Okay. Uh... You want me to go there? Tacit Stella? Warp drive engines damaged. Jump impossible. Uh, my, which is the closest <laughs> space station in this sector? It's the trade station and Terra's port. Okay, set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Okay, fly to the Antares port commercial station. Press space to start charging the quantum engines. My situation report on Antero's port. I'm right there with you, Access Organic. Space Viking funeral this it is. This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They okay. also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. I don't even know if I was going towards the station. It's over that way. Okay, cool. I think I might have just been going nowhere. All right, turn around. Up you go. This very much reminds me of like that Rebel Galaxy game so far, which I like. Yeah, maybe let's not crash into anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we're saving the crew, but, you know, the crew bodies, but hey, apparently it's not my call, even though I'm the captain. Hmm. Okay, that little icon went away. Maybe they got angry at me. <laughs> it's like, do not be shooting around us. The long journey home. I know I've never looked at that one. Captain Scott from the Fifth Republic fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Uh, Receiving enter the highlighted area at low speed. Establishing communication. Sure. Docking protocol prepared. So that's dock three right there. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be a mess. I can almost guarantee this. Oh, you want me to put it in that little space? Uh-oh. Are you sure about this? Yeah, no, I, I see the whole slow down. Okay, we're going to have to make another pass at this. <laughs> I 
I'm coming. Look, I came to a complete stop. Okay, I didn't come to a complete stop. Confirm the docking. Hey, I didn't crash into anything. <laughs> I almost crashed into stuff organic. <laughs> you discover a great commotion around the freighters on the station when you exit your ship. You hear shouts from all angles and merchants bidding over ever increasing numbers over merchandise. Your crew and yourself leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. You find yourself looking at the neon lights when someone bumps into your shoulder. I swear to God, if you just pick my pocket... Ouch, that hurt. It's a scruffy young woman who begins to collect spanners and metallic objects of all sorts she had on her as she tried to steady herself. Again, if you, if you pick my pocket... Don't worry, you hurt? No, it was my fault entirely. Oh, excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Susan. I'm the head of the Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. Convenient. What can I do for you? Actually, we we're just looking for a repair shop. You walk together for the to the docking bay where your ship is located. Susan rubs her eyes incredu incredulously. No way. A KP-564SC warship. It's completely totaled. How did you manage to... We got shot at. <laughs> Susan sighs deeply. All right, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. The repair cost highly exceeds your credit account. After negotiating, you agree to handle a series of tasks, of course, for her in return for payment. In the meantime, they shall give you a completely operational ship. Uh, where can I find the transmission room? Of course, Captain, there's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way, as long as you don't rob me. Large space stations often have a transmission system highly superior to that of normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. You walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you are allowed to pass and spot the transmission crew busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You are granted a terminal in order to send a situation report to the Republic. <laughs> yeah, at this point, they probably, yeah, they, they've already taken all kinds of my stuff. They probably already rooted around in that, stripped it clean. Captain Scott here. We're transmitting from the Anteros port station in Sector Thama 6. Captain Scott, we were expecting your arrival two Earth days ago. I got shot at. Yes, sir. We ran into problems. We were following the trail of a slaver network in the Lithoba 1 sector. We infiltrated their base and obtained a crucial part of their information that you asked for us for, but our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought we had left them behind when we managed when we arrived at this sector, but we were intercepted. We finally managed to finish off the enemy ships, but two of my crew members have lost their lives and the Genesis was practically destroyed. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. We'll give them the sending off they deserve. What is your ship's current status? Messed up. Currently, it is inoperative. As soon as it's repaired, we'll return to the headquarters for the Stellar Submit. Yeah, no, we're going to leave it here for her to repair while we go off and take care of these little quests. And she basically just... We didn't park it in a, um... In a repair shop. It's like... It's like an interstellar chop shop is what actually happened. We're going to come back and there's nothing left. <laughs> Talented, isn't she, Silver Wolf? Yeah, she took our entire ship. As one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested as head escort and reception of our guests. Every governing body of the universe shall be present and will set aside their differences in favor of a new era of peace and prosperity. You know, I know a lot of sci-fi. That ain't gonna happen. Something's gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Most likely, the summit's just gonna explode. There's a bomb on that station. I'm just gonna tell you, there's a bomb in your headquarters just... <laughs> Based on other games I played, nothing that cool is going to happen. I am going to loot, like, my ship's just going to be stripped. The space station panel is where all offered services are presented. Ooh, look at that, a whole one store. In the crew section, you'll be able to hire different crew members. If you have any dead members, remember to hand them in for funeral services in order to free up cargo space. Or we could jettison them into a sun. The store section has the possibility to purchase different equipment. The contact panel gives you the possibility to accept different missions, and the stash allows you to store salvage pods for use in new run-throughs. Oh, that's right. That's the other thing this game has. You have, um... 
there is permadeath. If your character dies, you can start over with... Yeah, you'll have to start over with a new captain. So. I don't know what carries over between runs. Maybe the only the stuff you put into a stash. I have no idea how far that works, but we'll see. Alright. Kickstarter logos right there. Can't really buy those. So, contracts. Make funeral. The specialist Raimundo Oliveira served valiantly on the Genesis under the orders of Captain Scott. Served with dedication and dev ah, devotion to the Interstellar Republic. Will be remembered for his honor and pride. Frank Schaefer as well. Accept the contract. The Anteros Freighter. In order to repair the ship, we'll need an ion reactor. This wouldn't usually be a problem if we had the needed materials, but this isn't the case. We haven't had any news from the space freighter E-32 Pulsar repair ship in two Earth days. Creative. Her crew isn't answering any hails, and their last coordinates show it nearing an asteroid field known as Anteros' Cemetery. We need you to find an Oh, lovely area you're sending me to. Investigate the area and recover the cargo. Sure. So, where's the ship you guys are lending me? Because I'm... You know, can't exactly... <laughs> can't exactly, um... Just float my ass out there. <laughs> That's a very good point, Silverwolf. If I'm such a famed captain, the, my superiors should come pick me up and pay to fix my ship. But no. Everyone to their post. We must find that missing freighter. Captain, Is that the Normandy? Do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. Well, I, I hate to break it to you, computer, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be breaking a lot of space laws over the course of this. Because the first chance I get in this game, I'm going pirate. Just gonna say that. Also, I am a famed captain in, like, the Republic military. But I'm allied with pirates and smugglers. According to our little, um, inventory screen. Hey, we got here pretty damn fast. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we are allied with pirates and smugglers. But nah, seriously, that's like straight up the Normandy. <laughs> I mean, that's true. We arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. Well, I see something right there. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Hi. You, you, you don't see that? Area? I detect irregular radiation. I mean, I see something Coming right there. The of the cluster. Let's take a look. I mean, I know you're pointing me that way, but there's something right here. And there's something right there. Look, there's glowing Captain, stuff out here. We found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. And scan this, right? Oh yeah, right here. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. My, can you follow the radiation signature? Sure. Comparing oh. samples. <laughs> Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. So, where, what are you trying to send me over here for? Oh, Allied Station. It's kind of, okay. All right. 
to the freighter. Yeah, that's a good point about Francis Drake. Then again, he wasn't completely, uh, you know, pirate. He had, uh, authorization to essentially be a pirate. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, I do like the look of this ship more than the one they took from me, even though I know this doesn't have anywhere near the firepower. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Do I have a choice? Affirmative. Ex Pleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. No. Surrender, or we'll open fire. Will you now? This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. Dude, you're I not in the Genesis right now. I demand you your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? Hey. <laughs> you asked for it. Crew to arms. Be quick to open fire when your ship's not around. Yeah, keep aiming for that engine. Okay, yeah, I miss my other ship now. Okay, we got through his shields finally. And goodbye. Let's see if we can't launch a nuke, though. Do I have him? Uh, I have, yeah, switching weapons isn't doing anything right now. So maybe my other ship had it. This one doesn't, unfortunately. Now time to loot. Loot their corpses. Now, well, okay, fine. Captain, the ship's remains correspond to the freighter we've been searching for. The freighter? We What's have a freighter? For survivors and confirm the shipment was in fact stolen. Preparing to board. Okay. Turn off your engine. You know, I gotta say, I'm actually quite surprised I haven't crashed into any of these wrecks. Oh, the icon changed, it just... Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll experiment with that right here. Let's try it. Missile did go out that time, yes. Okay. Okay, I see. So it did go out, I just have to zoom in to guide it. Is what the tutorial was saying. So, okay, yeah, it is there. Holy sh... Yep, no, that's, it's over there. <laughs> Call my ship a hunk of junk, look what happened to theirs. <laughs> I actually just scraped the paint on that thing. What the? You enter what's left of the freighter as the bay doors close behind you. Within it, you find the remains of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sorts of supplies and objects on the floor accompanied by what were once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passageway with two possible paths. I mean, I guess we go right. Yeah, you know what, let's go left. Your crew and you advance through the corridor you've chosen. The further in the ship you go, the more you get the feeling that you are not alone. After a while, you reach another crossway. Let's go left again. 
you reach a small chamber where the path splits off in two directions. One of the specialists says, Captain, I think we've been here already. You look a bit closer and you're almost sure you're back at the first turn you made. To the right. To the left. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Shall we go right again? After walking in circles, you arrive at a hallway and a bay door that opens in front of you. Through the door door frame and still within the darkness, you are able to make out a faint light. I mean, I am naturally suspicious. I don't like the feeling of this. Captain, this looks like the Protonite shipment. We found it. One of the scientists advances from within the interior of the chamber, leaving you behind. Man, it could be a trap, but I don't want to lose the scientist. Let's enter with the scientist. As soon as you enter the bay doors, as soon as you enter, the bay doors close and the lights turn on. At the end of the row, you see the raw Protonite shipment stacked in rows that emit light rays of light. A robotic voice surprises you. It seems to be the ship's MAI system. Intruders directed, detected in the loading bay. Activating security pro protocol. Opening evacuation bay doors. Man! Uh, halt. We are the crew of the Genesis of the Republic. The AI waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening suspended. Validating credentials. Error. They are intruders. No, I am Captain Scott. We are here to rescue the freighter. Establishing analysis. Probability of intruders not being identified as intruders. 100%. You hear the servo motors of the evacuation bay doors screech. If you open the bay doors, shipment's gonna be lost. Negative, the shipment has been anchored here to ensure its safety. You can see the chests have mechanical anchors latched to the floor, although some are completely damaged. Okay, fine, we are intruders. 0% probability that intruders are identified as intruders. Establishing analysis error, the AI begins to calculate probabilities while it seems confused. <laughs> Only someone who isn't an intruder would claim they are. <laughs> if the intruder claims it is an intruder, probability protocol incompatible. As it exclaims different errors, you hear the voice shut down due to a logic error. The bay doors close. You are now out of danger. Mission accomplished. Load up these crates. You load the crates, the chests of Protonite on the ship, and you look for a registry of what could have happened. The engineers search through the few working terminals left, but all data appears to be corrupt. You make a security copy to be able to study it later. Except... Let's go back to the station to inform Susan. Sure. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? X-Player's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Can't loot that. Okay. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained... Okay, I am hitting these space. ships now. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. So... I leave, right? <laughs> yeah, I see a big-ass rock in my way over there. So we're just gonna go around it. <laughs> What, me nearly being blown out of an airlock organic? <laughs> oh, now you want me to go to 17. Okay, fine, I'll go to 17. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game so far. Can't wait to see what it is when it's done. Just trying to make sure I don't wreck this thing. I really won't get my ship back if I destroy their loner. <laughs> Bring the thing back in pieces. Comms Chief, request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. I see Receiving one. coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm going over this way. Let's 
let's go up in here. Oh, it's over there. Oh, hell. <laughs> I'm in here? Kinda. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm glad they don't make me do all that myself. <laughs> After arriving at the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located. In it, you spot Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You've returned. Have you found anything? Susan looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. Ah, uh, let's see. We found the freighter. There weren't any survivors. Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. That can't be. I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. Were you able to recover the cargo? Man, you jumped straight to the cargo really fast for having just found out you lost your childhood friend. Yes, we were able to recover it. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need the ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineers could help us. Could you process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new ion reactor? I, I mean, I assume. You've obtained your first blueprint. Uh-huh. Go to the department screen in the inventory. Oh, okay. Right here. Also, I have loot boxes. I'm gonna open the loot boxes. Nice. I don't know what any of that does, but nice. Okay, let's go to the departments. Oh, nice. Holy crap, I do like this. Salvage the raw protonite. So, scrapping? So this, right? Wanda, take care of it. Sabine, take care of it. Okay. Complete. Give me that stuff. Let's remove Wanda and Sabine from that. I assume we can build the ion reactor in here. Intelligent missile launcher. I kind of want that. Cannon of the Republic. Interceptor laser. Holy crap. The Cannon of the Republic is damn nice. Light Cannon of the Republic. A shotgun. Man. <laughs> Let's build an ion reactor. We shall add Wanda and Sabine to this. Man, I could have afforded that without scrapping all that proton protonite. Is that what it was? Yeah. Complete. Thank you. Susan examines the new ion reactor closely. An excellent job. With this, we'll have everything we need to finish the repairs. I have another favor to ask you in the meantime before we finish things up. Speak with me when you're ready to go. Can I just chill here and wait for you to give me my stuff back? Alright. The inspection. We've stopped receiving prototype shipments. After the attack on the freighter, we can't guarantee the commercial route's security uh, to the mining stations in the sector. Inspector Howard Huggins must fill out his forms immediately. Transport him and evacuate the station status. Okay. Let's go. Well, we have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. Unauthorized order. Thank you. you. Lack bridge privileges. Thank you. My ship. To get a bureaucrat on board and so start telling my I ship what to do. I have a babysitter. Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? Yes. It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. The last Protonite shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. Is that why you're an sure inspector? <laughs> Listen, uh, this dude, this inspector's kind of cocky. Self-guided missiles with kamikaze robots? I would build those. That 
That actually sounds very useful, Style Red, like that. There we go. Honestly, it's easier to control the ship if I just leave my hand well away from the mouse. What the hell? These transport ships are not ours. It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. <laughs> this can't be. We have to register this immediately. Sure, sure. Hold on, I got stuff to read. At any moment in the game, you can access photo mode. In it, time will halt and you will have complete control over the camera and its parameters in order to take spectacular pictures. All right. I'll be honest, I don't do this very... Sure. Take the picture. I need to finish this tutorial. Hey, hi, Lynx. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Cool. Okay. Can... Can we... Okay. When the foreman finds out, heads will roll. Will they? Game damn near crashed in photo mode. <laughs> Captain, we have to go back to the station now. No. What happened? I forgot my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Jesus. Huggins. False alarm. I found it. I see. <laughs> Captain, there's no sign of activity on the station. It looks like it's been blown to hell. Abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. I'll stay on the ship. I mean, I don't know that uh, I agree. Co covering your backs. I mean, there are no lights on, and it definitely looks a bit scorched and worse for wear, so I don't really know we should be boarding this thing. <laughs> the scourge of every human life. Bureaucracy. <laughs> That's cutting it a bit close. There we go. Somehow we inspected the last one? <laughs> Besides, yeah, he's the one who's supposed to inspect it. I don't have to inspect this. <laughs> well, considering he doesn't want to get on the ship and he's staying on my ship and staying away from the station, he's probably... He'll probably be fine. The dock bay doors open and the captain and his crew arrive to a great reception hall. It currently only has emergency lights on that show the remains of broken furniture strewn about the floor, forming large mounds of rubble. Hmm, activate the generators or look for survivors? Probably reactivate the generators. I mean, I know we should be looking for survivors, but be easier with power, I would imagine. You search the chamber for an energy terminal to reestablish the systems. After a few minutes, you find a room that contains generators. Uh, the head of the engineering team comes near you. Captain, we've detected an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work again. Go ahead, do it. Your engineer's capacity to craft ensures your success. Ooh, so it's, there are reasons to use your other characters, like your crew. <laughs> you don't need survivors, you need records. Damn, that's harsh, Stahor. <laughs> The team analyzes the damage with minute care and prepares a temporary solution. A few minutes later, they've constructed an apparatus that allows the energy flow to temporarily function. Great job, let's go. With the lights on, you can see the destruction in the chamber much better. A dust cloud envelops the area. Among the remains of the rubble 
protrude now buried human moraine, remains. Holy crap. You continue through the chamber when suddenly you hear one of the bodies still breathing. Ah, sure, let's help him. Upon digging out the body, you find the crewman is still barely alive. They came. We resisted. The man moves his arm slowly and pulls out an ID card. He hands it to you and the light fades from his eyes. Rest. We need to find out what happened here. You advance through one of the hallways. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and bloods. And bloods. Good lord. Blood. You reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you can see a small keycard reader. Can you hack the terminal? The engineer's systems upgrade capabilities ensures your success. Okay, I get the feeling now that the engineers could do this whole job without me. I kind of feel a bit superfluous. The engineering team gets to work and starts manipulating the terminal. A few minutes later, you hear an electronic sound and the bay lights flash a few times. <laughs> Before your eyes, the door swings open, allowing your entry. Your entry. It's Tyranids? Yeah, no, I'll abandon this station and this whole damn sector if there's Tyranids here. <laughs> You advance through the hallway and reach the different rooms that you find. You arrive to the bridge where a log of recent dockings or events must be. The large computer that occupies the room is completely destroyed. You continue advancing through the smaller chambers without any luck finding anyone nor clues as to what could have happened. In one of the workshops you find plans for a weapons prototype. Maybe your engineers could make use of them. Let's leave this station, there's nothing left to see. Alright. Uh, okay. So? That seemed like a rather the short... There are no survivors. But... But this can't be happening. We have to inspect the last station. Do we? I think I've had enough. We should head back. Nah. This oversteps your jurisdiction, Mr. Huggins. You can come with us or stay here. You decide. This is an outrage! You guys are kidnapping me! Oh, good god. Preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit. Alright, fine. <laughs> I'll go with you. I like our AI. I'm gonna double check something real quick. I don't think it's... I don't think there is any, but... Yeah. I checked it before I started streaming, but I was gonna double check. Uh, for subtitles. But... It does not appear to be the case. So... Sorry about that. Wanted to double check just in case, though. Uh, back. Continue. <laughs> Necrons organic? Man, I wouldn't mess with either. We're not space marines here. We're not crazy. <laughs> Cutting it a bit close. You finally arrive at the last station. After hearing Inspector Huggins' complaints the entire time, you can't wait to finish the mission. Everything looks calm on the station when suddenly a group of ships appear in the area. They are pirate ships. You recognize ex Plio's emblem on their hulls. Maybe they want revenge. There's no time to lose. You order your, ship, your crew to prepare to defend the station. I have... I've seen, I've not seen the final season of Dark Matter yet, though, Stahor. But I enjoyed the first two seasons enough that I was very disappointed to hear that it was cancelled. Damn sci-fi <laughs> channel. I hate them so much at this point. Captain, the station is under attack. Oh, I get it. I told you we should have gone back. We can I don't still care. turn the ship around. No. Control yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Crew, stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. Yep, I sent sir, a yes, nuke sir. that time. There it goes, there it goes. That dude right there, please. Come on. Yes. <laughs> okay, that didn't do a thing. I like that we got back up, though. I don't know where they came from. Maybe the station? <laughs> Come on. You can do this. Take him out. There he 
close. Reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. There he goes. Let's go play with this dude. Oh, damn. Fire rate increased all of a sudden. <laughs> Use another nuke as soon as that recharges. We have lost the shield. I'm sure we did. We are kind of taking a beating. Crew member wounded. Uh oh. I want to go after this ship over here. Ow. All right, fine. Turn around and face him. Oh wow, that's why. him now. Skirmish, the mining station's director, thanks you. Thanks, Captain. Those pirates appeared out of nowhere. They wanted to keep our protonite extraction. We're lucky you arrived when you did. These attacks normal? The director responds in a nervous tone. No, this area is usually very peaceful. But the past few days, there have been a few skirmishes between pirates and trade ships. But this exceeds any other inf incident we've had to date. Any other info? You ask the director if he has any relevant information that could shed some light on the pirate's intentions. He responds, I have no idea what they could want besides our protonite, although an attack of this scale, it just isn't logical. Oh, wait a minute. The director disappears from the visor only to return a short time later. I've been informed that we've recovered an encrypted transmission on one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it will. Thank you. Captain, the corrupt transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. How do you... Understood. Really? That, that seemed easy. Okay. Start researching the coded data. Okay, let's go into the... Let's go in here, departments. Uh, let's remove you. So I feel like those are my only two real crew members. Data. Oh no, I do have two others. There you go. Research. While you do that, I'm gonna go loot stuff. Our work here is done. Let's head back to the station. Our work here is done when I I've recovered the loot. <laughs> yeah, we don't leave. We, I didn't do this for free. I didn't. I mean, technically, you guys are fixing my ship for me, so... But still, I would like the salvage. And look at all this beautiful loot. Okay, there has to be, like, a hotkey for all stop. Most space sim games I've played, the hotkey for all stop is backspace, but it's not in this one. Do you have two pieces of loot? No? Okay. Hmm. Something just exploded. Oh, yeah, somebody's blowing stuff up. Maybe it's the Rex after the stuff's been looted. Okay. So you guys are all over here now. Excellent, we'll start. Ah, oh, you seem to be fairly close, as do you.
Okay, come on. It does. It very much does need a distance meter. I also find it really weird that it doesn't really have a mini-map. Now, to be fair, the game is, like, this is still a demo and they are still going to Kickstarter, so this probably is... This is a very early alpha. <laughs> Looks good for that, but I'm sure those other features are incoming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop moving. Wow. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, we, um, we got real close to that one. And honestly, I think one thing that they should do is, while I do like how interactive it is that you have to get close and, find, and scan the ship for where the salvage is, I really feel like they need something like a lot of these games have where... You just lock on and get proximity, and it triggers like a, um... And it triggers like a tractor beam to either draw it in or just automatically transport the cargo onto your ship. Because while that is cool, what we just did, uh... I don't know, it feels like after a big battle, it could get a little tedious going close to every ship to pick that stuff up. Okay, so control it does. Tower, we request permission to dock. I Station was curious. Control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. If it would automatically stop me when I got Receiving close to something like this. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Is it really? I really. If I keep playing this game, I really need to play around with the, um, key bindings. I don't know, it just feels less intuitive that, uh, A and D are the rotating, are the rolling, and the Q and E is the actual steering. I feel like those should be opposite. Uh, dude? <laughs> okay, I missed that entirely. And again, while this is kind of cool for immersion, I still kind of feel like the game should have a auto-docking when you get close. Where you just hit a single button and it goes through the whole docking procedure. Got my ship. Once back at the station, Howard says his goodbyes with few words and he leaves the group. Susan comes up to you with a more cheerful demeanor. You're finally back. Inspector Huggins looked a bit out of place. Did everything go well? Is there any place in this sector that isn't ridden with death? The truth is that with the organization of the Great Summit, the Republic patrols have been reduced in order to be called back to headquarters. It's provisional, but it looks like it has enough to cause all like it was enough to cause all this. Yes, we'll present ourselves as soon as possible. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Susan looks away a few seconds, but composes herself and resumes the chat rapidly. In any case, we have good news. It was tough, but your ship's repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers and come visit us if you are ever back in this sector. I hope we never come back. Ah, of course, we'll see each other again. Let's be nice. Captain, our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to Tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. Yeah, sure, I'll check those out now that I've got my ship. That could be it. They could be saving that for a module. Same with, like, a mini-map system. I'd be okay with that. Detection. Suspicious stuff. Alright. 
But before we go investigate the suspicious stuff, I would like to check my loot. Because we have a lot of it. Including some new guns. <laughs> in case you guys can't tell, I don't really go in for those, um... Watching the nice sparkly animations when I open boxes. <laughs> okay, so what's this? Nuclear missile launcher. So what is this other stuff? Cloaking gen... Wait, a cloaking gen... Yeah, we're gonna install that right now. Uh, these are identical. Light plasma cannon. So what are these? Light Cannon of the Republic, 30 hull damage per second, 10 shield damage. Hmm. So it does seem like it's a good idea to have a mix of those weapons. But I am going to install this flak thing. I guess I could sell all these because I have no more slots to install those in. Oh, wow. I can actually upgrade stuff. I see. The Gatling of the Republic? Okay, can we upgrade the Gatling of the Republic, please? <laughs> Can't upgrade it again. I mean, I'll upgrade whatever I can. I got a lot of loot. Nuclear missile launcher? Okay. Okay, I can't upgrade this stuff. I can upgrade upgrade the Cannon of the Republic. I love when games let me upgrade stuff. It's the easiest way to keep me interested in a game is give me a whole lot of upgrades. So, how does one use a cloaking device? Like that. <laughs> Got some Romulan stuff going on here. Let's go. I mean, I should have waited. Okay, steering while cloaked. Not, not, not easy. <laughs> Hi, guys. You spot a group of unknown ships. After attempting to contact it a few times for them to identify themselves, they activate their... Okay. I mean, we kind of figured. The shields. All hands to battle stations. I'll make sure to kill you last. There we go. Enemies of the Republic deserve to die. Jesus. Okay, the Republic doesn't really sound like good dudes. Like, there's no... <laughs> Yeah, you're an enemy of the Republic? Die. It's like, good god, are you serious? Let's send that nuke to do its job. Oh, I should keep that on track. And... Nice! <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Uh, okay, we gotta wait for the nuclear fire to dissipate. Man, we went from being some kind of Federation uh, equivalent to being like Klingon or some shit. Holy crap. I know, right? <laughs> he took a dark turn. Now that he got back into his big ass um, warship, don't even want to know. This is just a cruiser. I don't even want to know what he'll do once he gets his hands on a battleship. Let's see. 
head our way over here. I mean, we're going to get over here to this distress signal. He's going to be like, yeah, blow it up. A transmission from a civilian ship interrupts an otherwise tranquil voyage. Captain, thank goodness you've arrived. A terrible disease has spread throughout the crew of my ship and some of its passengers as well. Sadly, we don't have a medic on the ship. It could be quite serious. Have there been any casualties? Yep, Captain, at least 20% of the crew have died. We don't have much time left. Oh no, Jimmy. Oh god, his head is inflating, Captain. <laughs> It'll explode any minute now. We need a doctor urgently. Now, I feel like this is a trap. That's That just seems like a silly disease. Yeah, we'll send our scientists. Your scientist's medical skill is not high enough to ensure your success. <laughs> the scientists arrive at the ship and commence diagnosis of the infected. Hours pass without any answer, without any definitive result, and after a few erroneous trials, the infection reaches its breaking point. Nothing makes sense. Every infected present presents different symptoms, none pleasant. Some patients' heads grow until they explode. Others present protuberances that look oddly enough like Inspector Huggins. <laughs> While well, others see their organs expelled from places organs should definitely not be expelled from. After a few hours, there are no longer any patients to examine. Crew, let us never speak of this again, understood? So we're just gonna hide this deadly disease that honestly sounds like some type of warp taint and mutations. Nah, we good. We don't, we don't even need to bother with any of that. The rest of the galaxy doesn't need to know. Oh, wow. That's a shotgun. You know, I like the nuke, but I'm tempted to put the shotgun in its place. Huh. Okay, we're not going to get rid of the nuke. <laughs> so this does 50 and 33. This does 75 and 19. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade, but I also feel like we could use it to replace one of our light cannons of the Republic Since that's also primarily hull and shield just not as accurate. I'm gonna throw that right up in here Can't afford to upgrade that that's fine. I can salvage stuff, right? Oh, you guys still working on that cuz I have a bunch of guns. I do not need Okay, I'd rather you didn't include stuff that was currently on my ship. That's the upgraded one, I think. Alright, Wanda and Sabine, get on that. Okay. I think the top ones are the ones that are currently on my ship. Honestly, I do not know. I wanted to upgrade that because then I could focus on ones that don't appear to be upgraded. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's the ra yeah, the range seems like it would do it. 2205. That's oh, a Gatling. Of course, I'm not getting rid of the Gatling right now. I might want that back. Light plasmas, 1470, 1470. 1400. Okay, these are the ones that need to go. Oh, did it? Man. It had worse stats than the... Well, the one that I had upgraded... Um... Yeah, this one would have given... That's weird, then. This one would have given me more loot to um... scrap than the other one, so I kind of assumed that was the deal. Ah, well. 
I still hate that I don't like that they put that on here as hey you can actually scrap your uh, scrap your current stuff it's like why would I why I only have one cannon of the Republic installed right yeah and it has a range of 1543 That's a normal cannon of the Republic. Okay. I feel like that probably needs to be installed. Let's see, range 1543, 1890. Yeah, no, seriously, what? Why would I why would I keep the light cannon installed? You're going for some heavy firepower here. I mean, this seems to me like it's a capital ship. Let's treat it like one. <laughs> and then 1470, 1400. Yeah, it's fine. So let's scrap one of the 1470s. If it turns out that this is the one that's installed, I have a backup. Definitely scrap that one. Yeah, that's probably it, organic. Okay, I'm gonna keep the Mark III, just in case I don't like this current setup. I might as well. Or if these weapons can actually be destroyed. Alright. We don't even need to go to the. Uh, back to the station. There are no points of interest to explore. Ah, uh, let's go to Tacit. Well, that was easy. I don't even know if I clicked on the right system. Captain, the investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked up in the slaver's headquarters. Uh-huh. I think you need to hear this immediately. Sure. Nartos. Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Children of the Situation Sun? Situation report, Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Perfect. The Galactic Summit is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. I told you. I can't believe it. We have to relay this as soon as possible. Understood, Admiral. Although, there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he destroyed our ships. Take care of him as soon as possible. Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations are supplied. Break their will, and if necessary, Kill them all. May the sun light your way, Commander. I mean, we'll keel haul them all. Ex Pleo out. Yar. Um. <laughs> I mean, if you're in charge of the pirates, would you really be? Would you really have to say send a pirate fleet? Couldn't you just say send a fleet? Also, am I even in the right damn sector? And I love how the Republic is kind of surprised. They're targeting the summit? Yeah, you're... Why would you be surprised? Shouldn't you actually be prepared for stuff like this? I'm actually surprised it didn't blow up as we got close. Give it a second. I mean, fair enough. If he is not, like, a pirate himself. I kind of assumed the Children of the Sun were a cult and a pirate. Hey, now. Why would you... He's gonna go explode. No?
Okay. We welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers, where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. What is the meaning of this, Nardos? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out That's for the ballsy. security and common interests of the universe <laughs> for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. Just a few, Admiral? All I'm seeing is a lot of loot. For too long, but that's over now. The children of the sun will no longer be led More by an loot. unworthy puppeteer. It's time to cut those cables and strangle their detractors with them to the last. Loot. Admiral, this is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. <laughs> Surrender or die. Not us. Be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. I feel like there should be more ships here. Like, seriously. Okay, that didn't really do much. <laughs> All right. Oh. The children of the sun are attacking the headquarters. Yeah, I heard the I heard the transmission too. Captain, our shields have been damaged. Have we they? won't hold out much longer. I don't see anybody shooting at me. There we go. down it's one big behemoth of a ship dropped oh right there our shield had fallen level up level up okay Alright, you know what? I see a lot of you guys over here. I'm gonna just drop a nuke right in the middle of all of you. The children of the sun are focusing all their fire on the station. <laughs> oh shit. Let's maybe put some more power into our shields, shall we? Come back around. You know it'd be nice? Some backup. <laughs> okay, that's my own do. I think he's being shielded by a wreck. Well, I don't think we're meant to win this fight, alright? <laughs> I mean, I assume. The armor around one of our engines has been destroyed. The space station has been destroyed. This can't be happening. I want you those beam weapons, damn it. Do you hear me? You will pay for this even if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you. Even if I have to follow you to the end of the universe. Captain, snap out of it. We need you more than ever now. Captain, there's a fire in the reactor room. The pressure readings are off the charts. Burden, burden, answer, damn it. Bastards, you won't finish us all. Uh, 
They might. Will you get out of the way? Lost the propulsion engine. I'll point blank a nuke. Heavy <laughs> damage to the ship. Status critical. <laughs> Considering I'm apparently attacking a capital ship this whole time. I'm taking out the boss's ship right now. Admiral, to all captains, focus fire on Naruto's ship. He can't be allowed to leave here alive. I mean, I was trying. Engineering workshop has suffered a massive breach. Alert, alert, decompression imminent. Crew member Diaz, leave the room immediately. That's an order. Sorry, Captain. I gotta say, this is quite the epic fight. Don't do that. Do you hear me? I forbid the closing of those bay doors. Manual lock activated. Closing bay doors. It's been an honor, Captain. No! <laughs> you didn't sound too broken up by any of that. I'll lend you, Nartos. I mean, I kind of doubt it. Considering the condition of our ship, I really doubt it. Five. Redirect all power flow to the cannon. Changing security protocol requested. Confirmation required. Captain James Scott of the Interstellar Republic, ID 4128C. Deactivate protection protocol. Crew security protocol has been deactivated. Captain, the system will not support the overcharge. The probability of damage is 100. We One. cannot allow the children of the sun okay. to get away with this. <laughs> My full power. <laughs> My full yes, power. Captain. Life support offline. Defense systems offline. Redirecting power. Power at 110%. 250%. 500 100%. And you're right, I should have cloaked. <laughs> For the Republic. <laughs> Okay, I had that this whole time. <laughs> okay, that was a very epic My fight. That was awesome. Situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew crew dead. I see. So, this is it, right? MAR system. Proto protocol error. D -d damage. Easy. I'm here with you. Rest, my Rest. See some allied ships back there. They didn't do much, but they're back there. <laughs> that was pretty damn cool, I gotta say. Oh, man. I like those epic scale fights like that. <laughs> I guess that's the entire demo that's out. Uh, and yeah, like it says there, if you want to check out, you can see it on Kickstarter. But the demo is also available for free on Steam if you want to play it yourselves. So, yeah, no, that was... That was a lot of fun. I hope that they have a lot of epic battles like this in the final game. Hell, even if they don't, I liked, I really liked the upgrade system on the ship. I really liked the controls of the ship. Granted, there are a few things I would like, like an auto... Like an auto loot, or something that at least makes the looting a little bit less of a pain. Uh, the distance meter. And a mini-map. And auto docking. But I'm sure that's all coming. If, you know, especially if they get if the Kickstarter successful. But either way, that was that was a blast. I can't wait to play more, so I really hope it works out for them. Uh, what'd you guys think? But I do agree with you, Organic. The Last Stand types fights are... <laughs> I love those missions in pretty much every game I play. 
Even the ones where it's like, ah, uh, you can't win, you will die. Yeah, I agree, it was a great for a demo. The overall game was really cool. And this makes me very excited to not only play this, um, but now I want to play, um, Rebel Galaxy 2 when it comes out, considering it's on the way, so. I need more space games to play, frankly. Like, right now I'm debating picking up Star Control Origins and playing that on stream or on the YouTube channel. Not entirely sure. I haven't actually looked much for looked at that game very much. I've just seen reviews seem to be pretty high, but I've not read any details on it. So I don't know. Should be an interesting thing. But yeah, I agree with you, Organic. It does look like it's heading the right way, but it does need the polishing right now, this one. So, yeah. So with that, that's all the time I have for today. So, thanks for dropping by, checking out the game with me. And I will see you guys on tomorrow's stream. Thanks again for stopping by, and everybody have a good day.